Hello, and welcome to my minnow fishing guide. Now, for this guide, there are a few requirements. Notably, you will need level 82 fishing, the fishing contest quest, and you will have to have received full angler outfit. There is a hat, a top, legs, and boots. Now, do not be confused with everyone talking about especially lately where there's gloves. Um, someone posted on the old wiki that there was a pair of gloves you could get. Uh, you cannot get gloves. There's only four pieces to the set. Once you have completed the fishing contest quest, gotten your full angler outfit, and gotten level 82 fishing, head over here to the fishing guild. Uh, multiple ways you could get here. A very easy one is to just teleport to Sears Village and run down or you if you have a Ardoin cloak two three or four you could uh, go to the farm and just run from there again another method is skills necklace teleport to there and or you could just teleport to Ardoin and run from there uh, there's other methods but those are the quickest ways all right so once you have all that and you're now here at the fishing guild open the door to the fishing guild and run north past all the uh, fishing spots and the bank you will see a person dressed in yellow by a rowboat her name is Kylie Minow um, you will have to talk to her uh, before you access the fishing platform first and once you have talked to her, you can then travel through the boat to get there. Uh, before you go, get a small fishing net and then take the boat. Now, one thing I would like to note before starting this, once you're here, download uh, the RuneLight client. It will help you a lot doing this. I don't advise doing it without the RuneLight client just because of how overpowered it is to do this. It is highly worth it, and you will. It'll it'll change. It'll change your entire outlook on this, uh, in general. All right. So now we have it all set. So you're here on the fishing platform again. There's Kelly Minow. She also has a trade option here. Um, that's with the minnows. You can trade her. So you'll see there's two pools, and there's two spots per pool. Uh, basically. You can go to either one, it doesn't really matter, but technically it's you're going to probably be switching between them at some point, but just click on a small fishing net spot and start fishing. Now you'll see with the RuneLight client how it marks the spot, but not just that it marks the spot, but it also shows a timer. That timer is to show you when the fishing spot will move. So as you can see, it goes down really fast. They move under half a minute. I think it's like 15 seconds every 15 seconds or so they move. Um, so, you know, you're going to have to really be paying a lot of attention to do this method, but it is highly worth it. Um, you get a, a little over 600 sharks an hour roughly, and you get around 50,000 experience per hour. Um, it's pretty easy to do as well. Now, there is one thing you do have to watch out for. And uh, I'll be showing you that in the next clip. All right, so this is what you're going to have to avoid. So I'm just going to, yeah. So right there you'll see uh, RuneLight will allow it to go uh, red from yellow or blue, whatever the box is at C, as you can see. And a big fish will uh, pop up. It's happening over there as well. What that does is it steals some of the minnows out of your inventory. Uh, so when that happens, you want to move to a different spot, or when this spot moves, it will go away. It only comes up around four times uh, at once, so just make sure that you are paying attention. And that's why RuneLight is also nice, because you aren't paying attention. It will turn red, which is very useful. Uh, but it, it, it's not good, because what happens is every time it comes up, it takes about two XP drops worth of catches away from your inventory of the minnows, which is quite substantial. It's over 20, I believe. Um, and it's just, it's just something you really want to avoid. 
But other than that, the only other thing you should pay attention to is just make sure it'll always, they always go the same direction. And it'll always be the next square after another. See, it just happened again to that guy. It's, it doesn't happen very often. But when it does happen, you do want to avoid it and you do want to pay attention to it. It is something that is is not good uh, to be fishing while it is happening. All right, so now you know the basics of how to do the method. From the method, you will receive minnows, as we talked about before. You'll get quite a few um, per catch, and they add up to uh, about 600 sharks worth per hour, maybe more. It just depends on your fishing level. Um, at my fishing level, I'm getting about 600, um, but I'm only slightly above the minimum that you can even do these at. Uh, 82 being the minimum and obviously I'm 85 um, but at 99 you should be expecting slightly more than 600 strokes an hour also 50k fishing an hour slightly above maybe but around that I'm getting around 40 to 43k an hour at my level currently so once you have uh, the amount of minnows that you wanted to get uh, you can come over to Kylie Minnow on the platform or at the guild. It doesn't matter which. You do not lose your minnows when you leave the platform. You trade her and she'll say, I would like 40 minnows per shark. And once you've pressed continue, it'll tell you how many sharks you're eligible to get for however many minnows you have. So this amount of minnows is almost 700 shark worth which is pretty awesome if you ask me so i could go and get 698 raw sharks from her fully noted with this amount of minnows or i don't have to and i can just stock up to as many amount as i would like and of course i'm not going to trade them in right now but if i wanted to i could but like i said you don't have to do it on the platform you can do it at the guild so if you decide you don't want to right away you don't have to actually come back here to do it which is nice all right guys so that wraps up this guide for the most part it is pretty self-explanatory very basic but you know maybe if you're new to doing it it's nice to just kind of have a rough idea of what's going on what to expect and the rewards of course everyone wants to know what the rewards for stuff is so uh, i hope it helped you in some way shape or form if it did please give this video a like and also uh, please give me a comment of any other guides that you guys would like me to make i'm trying to make a lot of guides and uh, i'll see you guys in the in the next one peace